made it home, I dug her out, then I made her one of my aces. Marijuana fragrance, this tree here is outrageous. Want me to play in your city, send an email to my agent. Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. And today we are here for episode one of a brand new series on my channel. Finally, we are starting the NCAA Football 14 Dynasty. The Operation Sports rosters are out, and it is time to begin the online dynasty with my good buddy Sam or Burns. So to start out, I'm going through creating my new head coach. I gave him just my real name because I couldn't think of anything else off the top of my head. Uh, so it's pronounced Ian Vote. Uh, vote as in like vote for I don't know Mitt Romney or Barack Obama, etc. Um, and then we're going through some of the player models and stuff here. So. Anyways, I owe you guys a big thank you for being so patient waiting for the start of this series. The Operation Sports rosters took about a week since the game was released, I think a total of six days, uh, to come out. And I know that's kind of sta standard operating procedure for most YouTube channels who do NCAA Dynasties, but still, I owe you guys a big thank you. I know you guys were awaiting this for a while now, and uh, I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. Now, Burns has created this coach. He's taking over uh, South Alabama, and look at this. I decided to go with this player model because I thought he kind of looked like a monkey. I don't know, it's pretty funny. They got some new player head models and stuff. And then uh, we're going to go through the offenses. I'm going to choose the spread option offense. And I'll talk about that in a bit. Actually, I'll touch on it right now. The spread option is very effective in uh, in this game for some reason. I mean, well, I shouldn't say for some reason. But we're also going to go with the 4-3 multiple D. Uh, the 4-3 has worked a lot uh, for me in some online games. So I decided to stick with that. I will with multiple to give us some other options. Then here we're going to choose our team. Georgia State head coach, and that's pretty much it. So anyway, um, so the spread option is really effective in this game. I really like it. Uh, I use it a lot when I play Ultimate Team and stuff, and I think I can take advantage of that. Now, this roster isn't 100% tailored towards a spread team. We have a couple decently fast quarterbacks, not the speedsters that I probably want, but they can run. They, they're pretty mobile. Uh, we have some decently fast running backs. Well, obviously, we need a bit more of a mobile offensive line than usual, but I'm not too worried about that. So we're going to see how it goes. That's the offense I really want to run in this dynasty. And here was the coach tree thing. And I had like no idea what I was doing here. I was like, help. I was talking to Burns. I was like, help. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I ended up going with Locksmith. I should have done the other one where it allows you to scout players more. But it is what it is. Not too big of a deal. So we'll just um, have to upgrade that later on. Anyway, uh, and then we're going to get into some recruiting here in a little bit and I or actually no here's uh you're gonna take a look at our depth chart here so this was from the red shirt player screen and I was just looking through now my strategy with recruiting is look for positions that have juniors and seniors on them and those are the positions you want to target recruits from uh I'd say starting junior year if like like I saw I had like two senior receivers I had two sophomore quarterbacks that's not my biggest uh need right now like half my secondary like literally into my entire offensive line was seniors so I definitely need to go hard in the offensive line. My A lot of my secondary was uh, some seniors, so I'm going to have to look at uh, some recruits for there. I should probably work on my front seven a little bit more than I did, but we'll see. You'll see what happens in a sec. A lot of this video is actually going to be sped up, so, you know, I'm, I've never done a dynasty before. I really don't know how to show recruiting and stuff. So I sped most of the stuff up. Uh, a lot of it is just picking players from my recruiting board and then... Um, uh, scouting them or whatever with my scouting points. So here's the start of the sped up version. The first thing I did was look through all the players that were had first interest in me, and I got all those three stars on my board. I looked at a couple more three stars who were second, and uh, kind of went through from there. That was basically my starting point, and then I started looking at certain positions that I needed. You see me going through tight end. I think I have two senior tight ends. My offensive line I was really looking at, and uh, you'll see me go through some other places. So I don't know how long this video is going to take to render because I've never sped this much stuff up, but. I figured there's no point in showing you like a 15 recruit minute recruiting video. That's just boring to watch. And I'll uh, obviously I won't speed up all the recruiting that we do during the regular season. So anyway, we'll see what happens with that though. Uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear, see how recruiting goes. If you guys have any tips for recruiting, let me know because I've really never done like a full length dynasty before in any NCAA. I think the longest dynasty I've ever done before probably came in like NCAA 06. So I have no idea what I'm doing with this sometimes. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any tips whatsoever, let me know. They were gladly appreciated. Um, I struggled a bit with the new recruiting system. I kind of had last year's down a little bit to a certain degree after playing an online dynasty, but um, this year's system is a little bit new. So here we're scouting, and I had 1,000 scouting points, and I can only use 50 for like each player. So I just decided I would go through uh, a bunch of players, just scout them 10%, so I could do 20 players out of my 35, so that's what I did. I went through all my running backs, receivers, and stuff. I think I just went down the list. So I was like, whatever, we'll get a relatively 
I mean, some of them will get an idea if they're gems or not, but either way, um, I'm not sure if like Brent and I are going to be watching each other's videos for some little scouting tips, but I don't think we're going after too many of the same prospects. No, I can't confirm that, though. We'll see what happens. I know we're in kind of similar states, so I don't know. We'll see. There is a, uh, a quarterback from a, one of our mutual friends' hometowns that we're going after. Both, I don't think I'll get him, but I just threw him on there just because. Uh, I, I'm not aiming at a quarterback too much right now. My strategy is if I can get one, great. Uh, I went after a couple scramblers, but we have two sophomore quarterbacks, like I said, so maybe one of them can develop. We'll see what happens. Here I'm going through my coordinator uh, coach upgrades because I didn't realize I had these. So I give uh, my defensive coordinator, Jesse Minter. I was looking at road closed, and I think I... I think I ended up doing this one, or yeah, I did that one. And then for the offensive one, Jeff Jagodzinski, no idea who that is. Uh, I ended up going with the uh, ball security one, because like my biggest problem in NCAA games is turnover. So anyway, that's pretty much it for episode one. I'm going to try and put out episode two tomorrow. Burns and I are going to try and coordinate our videos so that we release them at relatively same dates. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are excited for next week. Hope you guys enjoyed, and this was Mount. Peace.